So hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Luna Rose because I'm the flower that blooms at night. And as you can read from the title of today's video, I caved in, I treated myself to more makeup. So let's do a makeup haul, shall we? Five out of 10 intro tongue pop. Let's go. So I purchased all of this makeup with my own money, combined with the help of my Patreon family, as well as my um spicy page, which I will leave a link to down below. I will also try my best to link down below the specific products that I picked up in today's video. Before anyone asks, this wig I got from Shein, as well as this little biker crop drop, crop drop, cropped jacket with cute little like thumb holes in it. And um, yeah, let's see what makeup we got. I absolutely love filming makeup hauls because then I can use the makeup in future videos and transformations. And when I tell you today we got some fun colorful stuff, you ain't even ready for it, girl. Okay, so the first bit of makeup that I got, I picked up from Morphe and it is the Morphe collaboration with Nyan. I do not know if I'm saying that name correctly. I followed her for years on Instagram, but I do not know how to pronounce her name. But I picked up the eyeshadow palette as well as the lipsticks. So essentially, it's kind of like three different colour stories in one palette. As you guys know, I am an eyeshadow palette hoarder. I buy eyeshadow palettes more than any other makeup product. And I love like playing around with different colours. So I thought this was kind of cute how it's like three different colour stories. You kind of got like your warm oranges, your greens, as well as like your pinks and purples. And I felt like it was good to support a creator I followed for years on YouTube, on YouTube, on Instagram. And I did also pick up the three lipsticks that came in that set. So I got the shade Zori, which is a like deep, gorgeous purple actually would have really worked with the look that I'm currently wearing. I picked up the shade Arena, which is a really interesting like yellow colour. Usually when it comes to like yellow lipsticks, they're more like a topper to put on top of a different colour to like neutralise some of the tones. Usually they're not like full opacity like yellow, especially because this is kind of like a pastelish yellow. I'm assuming if I wanted to show up that colour, I'm going to have to put like a white base down and then put that on top. But um, it was something a little bit different. And then a Yani, which is an absolutely stunning like Barbie pink. These kind of pinks are usually my favourite that have that little bit of like purple to them since I just love the colour purple if you couldn't tell and um yeah the first thing I picked up is lots of fun colourful stuff because I am a drag queen and I enjoy colour. <laughs> the next thing I grabbed from Amazon and it is the Profusion Pastel 10 colour eyeshadow palette. Recently, I have been getting a lot more into using pastel colours to blend out the upper crease of whatever look I'm doing, just to give it a nice, soft, diffused effect. I also really like putting pastel colours on my eyelid, rather than just a matte white, for something a little bit different. And pastel matte colours also look really pretty on the inner corner of the eye, so they're just some ways that I'm thinking to use this, and I thought it'd be kind of cute just to get like an all matte like pastel palette. Although this one and the purple do look like they've got a little bit of shimmer in it. I'm assuming once you blend it, you can't really like see the shimmer. But um, yeah, I picked up the Profusion palette for like £4 off Amazon. The next set of things I picked up is from the brand Cosmic Brushes, which is a UK like indie makeup brand. And I've been seeing their stuff all over TikTok, all over Instagram and all over YouTube. So I caved in and purchased their eyeshadow palettes. And when I tell you some of the shades in this palette are the most stunning eyeshadows I've ever seen in my entire life over like 15 years of playing with makeup. Oh, they have some of the most incredible colours. So this one is the Serenity eyeshadow palette, which is kind of more like your grungier muted tones with a few really pretty duochrome shades in it. But this next palette has one of the oh, most stunning shades I've ever seen in my entire life. And this is the Delight palette. And it has this absolutely incredible like trichrome shade. Oh, when I tell you makeup is like my kink, it literally makes me so happy to see makeup and swatch it. I would actually swatch it, but, um, you know, I don't really have access to my arm or my hand, but I will pop some swatches up on screen, but 
this like duochrome like greeny ready pink shade <sighs> that is literally what my like dreams are made of and then the other palette I picked up from them is the Muse eyeshadow palette which again has a lot of like grungy kind of deeper tones in it and I really like a proper sexy grungy smoky eye especially when I'm doing like a a dramatic kind of drag look colors like this come in handy so well and again this has a few of the really pretty like duochrome shades in it and I've heard nothing but good things about them so I did purchase all three palettes with my own money they are a UK indie brand and these are all really affordable I think there was like 20 to 25 pounds each per palette which for an indie brand to like make their own cosmetics and sell them and ship them for that price is very commendable and oh that like trichrome duochrome shade I dream about colors like that like I dream about makeup like that now from Beauty Bay I picked up a sample beauty like mystery box so it was £25 for like a mystery bundle of sample beauty products I did get a bunch of little single eyeshadows which have already popped in a Z palette that I already had like owned and done like a haul for for like two years ago so now they're just sat with their duplicates still that I've never touched but I did get a bunch of their single shadows as well as a couple of palettes so this is the plush palette from Sample Beauty a really pretty kind of neutral with a row of like fun colors and another row of like deeper like purpley tones which it's always good to have a palette with just some neutrals but also some like fun and excitement to it so I got the ooh the tops like soft touch a sample beauty plush palette I got the equalizer volume one palette which actually one of the shades this bright like neon vibrant pink arrived broken so beauty bay actually refunded me the full price of like the mystery haul so I literally got like 60 quid worth of product for 25 pound and then I got that 25 pound refunded to me because of a broken shade but um yeah this is a really pretty rainbow palette again a palette like this along with like a neutral palette you can literally create every single look you can think of so it's always good to have a rainbow palette and then like I said I got a few of the singles but I've already popped them away Oh, also from Morphe and like the collaboration with Nyan, I did pick up their whole like gel eyeliner collection. I like to use gel eyeliners, not really as eyeliners or like in the waterline. I mainly use them to draw on brows and this has a bunch of like pinks and yellows and like fun colours. So um, I figured why not and let me know if in the future you want me to do like fun and interesting brow colours to match the wigs. Also, you can use these as lip liners. So... I'll definitely get use out of them. Also on Beauty Bay, I did pick up three of the Jeffree Star like liquid lip products. So this is the traditional kind of liquid lip formula in the shade of Pain is Pleasure. Kinky girl. I picked up two of the Supreme Glosses, which are kind of like a pigmented gloss. So this one is in the shade Blow My Candles, which is like a really pretty like, I'm guessing like birthday suit kind of nude colour. And then I did also pick up the shade frosting for dinner which is like a really pretty pastel lavender purple pastel lavender purple lipstick used to be like my holy grail thing like 10 12 years ago I was obsessed with a little like lavender purple lipstick from MUA Beauty and I used to wear that all the freaking time so when I saw like a pastel lavender lip gloss I was like I need to I need to pick that up and if you couldn't tell I'm in my, my like fun lipstick fun colored era so um I figured why not let's try it all out and honestly this as a lip with like a purple brow and like a lavender wig could be a vibe and then the final products I picked up I also did get from Beauty Bay and it is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Green Mini Liquid Lipstick Vault so essentially it is just a bunch of little mini liquid lipsticks all in the kind of like green family with a few like yellowy mustard brown tones mixed in I actually love green lipstick my first ever like set of makeup like lip products I bought that were kind of a little bit wacky was three different OCC lip tars one in purple one in blue and one in green and I felt like the baddest bitch when I owned them I do actually have some videos on my channel like eight years ago from when I got those like fun lipsticks and honestly green lipstick is such a vibe 
do not knock it until you've tried it. And then since I saw that was on their website and like a little bit discounted, I did also go ahead and pick up the blue like liquid lipstick mini vault. So this one has a bunch of like blue shades as well as a white, which Drug Lord from Jeffree Star Cosmetics is one of the best white eyeliners I've ever tried. And what I thought was good about these is like Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks are like face safe, eye safe. So I figured even if I don't use it as like a liquid lipstick, I could use it as an eyeliner, I could use it as a brow colour. So um, yeah, I caved in and bought lots of fun coloured things today, shall we say. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this little like fun coloured makeup haul. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below which product I picked up today was your favourite or what you want me to utilise more in the future. I am tempted in the future to do like a really fun like wacky brow colour, start playing with fun eyeliners, embracing more different coloured lips. Since I am very much in a rut of just wearing a simple nude lip the majority of the time, which is why I challenged myself today to do a look that's slightly different for me and do a lip that I don't regularly reach for so um yeah let me know if i should play around with makeup more often and don't forget to subscribe to the girl next door with something more there should be new videos daily literally for the next couple of months i am planning to try and upload daily all the way up until october and then from the start of october i will be doing my 31 days of halloween so there'll be 31 different makeup transformations which is why i'm playing in makeup and being creative today to try and like get my juices flowing to create all that content and um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching bye oh eight out of ten tongue pop outro way better than that like mess that was the intro tongue pop oh no i've lost it bye <laughs>